Well, well, well. P3D version 5 is being released April 14th of this year. Well, today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions. First of all, I'm Epic Simming HD. It is good to see you guys again. We're going to be going uh, based off this prepared 3D website post, and then we're going to be going to this FSC Elite link to go look at some pictures. So first, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. Uh, P3D, let's make sure that that is in the highest resolution possible. Alright, so first of all, that landing was not one that's going to be celebrated. But, let's go ahead and go through some of these release notes. So, enhanced performance. I'm not going to go through all of these, by the way. Just a few of the sort of key ones. So, enhanced performance and graphical capabilities enabled by the new Microsoft DirectX 10 rendering engine. Now, that could be good. We get some additional performance in the sim. That's, that's pretty nice, I guess. Not really sure what the difference between Direct, DirectX 10 and I'm assuming they're using DirectX 11 at this point, but not quite sure. So anyways, realistic sky, clouds, and atmosphere with Simul True, True Sky integration. Now, True Sky, I believe, was in Flight Sim World when that was a thing uh, a few years ago. So, and I do notice that in this video, if we just oh yeah yeah look at these clouds look much nicer than default i hope active sky still you know works out of the box active sky cloud art active sky rex all that good stuff works out of the box that would be nice i guess they will have to update right it's not like they're just gonna leave us uh, sort of hanging dynamic ocean with nvidia waveworks 2.0 i did notice in this video that the ocean in sort of some of these previews looked um mute that Maybe not so much here, but in, um, what's this, the St. Martin shot right here? Yeah, look, that looks very good. That looks, that looks pretty good, actually. I'll, I'll roll with that, no problem. And I do notice a few differences, I guess, between nowadays P3D and this one. It sort of looks like the terrain looks, got like a little bit of an, oops, got a little bit of an upgrade here. You see that? It looks not, not quite ortho scenery-ish, but looks maybe, I don't know, is it better than Orbex? Is that, are we gonna, is that what's gonna happen? I don't know. I hope Orbex, I hope everything is just works out of the box, you know? But I have a feeling, it looks like maybe they did some sort of shader changes, so I don't know if everything's gonna work out of the box. Uh, added sloped runways. That is, I guess, something pretty cool, as long as it's not overdone, and maybe we can get some sort of third-party mesh, but I don't know. Anyways, n not a lot, not a whole lot of stuff other than the sort of, I guess, performance and, oh yeah, look at this. We get some Orbex integration, I guess. Maybe Orbex had something to do with these ground textures that look absolutely great compared to, uh, why isn't this working? Hello? Maybe it's just kind of a low bitrate video. But it looks like the settings that they used for some of these shots, like back here, are not super high, so. That one, not so much. Yeah, you can see, like, not a lot of 3D objects. You can just see a few of them. Um, this, of course, like, this shot doesn't look too far off from what uh, P3D looks like nowadays. But, um, I don't know. It looks, it looks like there's some sort of, like, haze that looks very nice. Now, obviously, this is stock. I don't think they would publish it with any kind of add-ons. But the True Sky Clouds look nice. Like, definitely, definitely a step up from default. I'll give them that. That looks kind of weird to me. That sort of look over there. I don't know. It just looks like that looks kind of like, you know that little X-Plane bug? If you fly X-Plane where the clouds, not the clouds, but the trees kind of turn this sort of like bright sort of whitish color. I don't know. It's sort of, but you see that's kind of happening to the ground here. I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll get some sort of PTA uh, update. I'm sure we'll get a PTA update. Looks like the coast looks kind of jagged here, but like we're just picking apart some really small details. Overall, this image just looks absolutely great compared to default. 
uh, right now. Obviously, yeah, it's default P3D. Don't expect that much. But once we start adding add-ons and the performance capabilities start to kick in, imagine. Also, just know that this is default, okay? Look at that. That looks pretty nice for default right down here. Yeah, I'm, like, I don't know. It's, it's default. Just remember that it's default. I'll, uh, I'll stop saying that now. All right, so fixes and improvements. Adjusted auto-generated building height. Overall, you can have a read through this yourself. N nothing really big. Nothing really that's going to change the way that I do anything, really. So let's go ahead and head on over to the FS Elite link right up here. So Lockheed Martin Prepared 3D Version 5 UHD Photo Gallery. We're just going to look through some of these screenshots. So this is all from the video. Um, yeah, that was the landing that was kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing. One thing that's in here. Default uh, airport runway textures are not very good. And, like, this just looks way better than the than the default version. I'm really happy they did something about that. So it looks like some people are... Look at that sky. Yes. Definitely. Look at that. That, even default, just look at the sort of, like, light shining on these clouds. I don't know. These clouds look really good. They, they look sort of low res. If you just look at, like, where my mouse cursor is right now, that doesn't look that great. But, like I said, we'll get some sort of active sky support. I'm sure everything will be great. These are just sort of for the people who fly default, kind of, and don't want to spend a bunch of money on add-ons or what, whatever. Got someone talking about X-Plane 11.50. Guys, different simulators. And John Feza, who's a uh, streamer, says, can't wait to rebuy PMDG aircraft. I hope not. Look at that water. That looks great. That default, no need to replace those textures whatsoever. I can't complain. It's just nice. I just hope... That I won't, I, I, I bought P3D version 4 a few weeks ago, and I hope I don't have to repay for it. That wouldn't be really fair. I mean, I just got it three weeks ago. Yeah, but like this guy says, performance improvements are what I'm most curious about. Um, yes, me too. I honestly, like, all this look, visual stuff is great, but what if the frame rate is a big increase? That... I think would be a reason alone to upgrade to version 5 is a big frame rate increase with this new rendering engine. Because us simmers, a lot of hardcore P3D fans will be upgrading the ground with their Orbex, they'll be using their Sky Rex textures or Active Sky Cloud Art textures, uh, they'll be upgrading stuff like airports, whatnot. So, what we're really interested in is if we can maybe turn up the settings a little bit more, add some more add-ons, I don't know, stuff like that to sort of make it look better. So anyways, those are just my sort of first impression thoughts on this sort of stuff on this prepared 3D version 4, version 5, version 4, lol. Uh, let's just hope that we can definitely upgrade if you bought it recently, or let's just hope that you don't have to rebuy all the add-ons, because that honestly is the most annoying part of it. I just bought Active Sky for P3D V4. I just bought Active Sky Cloud Art. I just bought GSX V2. Am I gonna have to rebuy this stuff again? Hope not. Otherwise, maybe it doesn't make much sense for me to upgrade to V5 unless it's some absolutely crazy simulator, but you know, we'll see. I'm just sort of spewing my opinions here, but uh, they're, I'm just sort of like taking what's in my head and just spitting it out into my mic. So. Let's just hope that, uh, you know, this sloped runway stuff is cool, but we're just looking for that performance increase with increased visual capabilities and, like, more headroom is what I'm saying for uh, adding stuff to the sim. And maybe increasing smoothness would be nice as well. And I have a feeling maybe we'll get that if they did some crazy optimization. So, uh, everyone, enjoy your next week. Um, depending on if I can get a refund from Lockheed Martin for my thing I got, I will either see you next Tuesday with P3D V5 or something else. So until then, I'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys. See ya.